A few months ago, I got an axe head from a good friend of mine with a bit of damage on it, which is this one. And um, I decided to put a handle on it. I'd saved a, a length of ash from a tree that I'd taken down about three or four years ago. And I had dried away nicely where I left it. And I quartered it and I picked the best quarter and uh, used the chainsaw to make out the general outline of the handle, as you see. And then I got an electric planer and um, an electric sander um, to work on it. And then I used um, a, um, a file, a wooden file, a large wooden file to make out the shape and to bring it down to what I have here. Uh, when I put it on the, the axe head, I used um, wooden wedges from another piece of ash that I had. I think as you can see here, I used a, a long length of, of, a, of a wedge and then four small ones on each side. Uh, now, as you can see, there are no gaps in the head here, as it should be. And behind the shoulder here, the shoulder is completely lined up with the, with the axe head, absolutely no gaps at all. So, generally overall, I was pretty pleased with it. Um, one minor little fault, there was a bit of a, um, um, a break here at the very end, I'd say caused by the drying process, which, uh, which I tried to hide with a bit of glue, but it didn't really work because the glue, when the glue hardened, it came up dark against the white background of the, of the ash. Um, the handle, I wouldn't be, the shape, of the, the look of it, I wouldn't be totally happy with it, but there is a nice, there is a nice grip to it. Um, it's about 38 inches long in total. It'll, if it's looked after, it'll do many years of, of good work for Damien when you're going to get it. Um, the dark colour on the axe head itself, um, I put down um, an anti-rust proofing uh, covering on it and it came out black. Now, all the, the other, the light colour here, I have been working on it and using it because it is a working implement. And um, I did want to use it for a while to check to see that the, everything was nice and tight and there was going to be no, um, uh, um, th that it wasn't going to actually come away or loosen on the, on the handle before I handed it over to the owner. Um, anyway, that's, that's it about that one. It's hung it properly when you have to hang these things properly. If you put it down on a flat surface, the middle of the, of the, of the bit and the end of the handle have to touch on a flat surface, like so. Uh, and as well, you have to line up the, 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 the blade, the length of the blade with the length of the handle. So they're the two criteria you, uh, that you have to look at when you're putting on a, uh, on a, on a handle on an axe. Anyway, that was my first project, my project for the COVID-19 lockdown. Uh, any comments on it? Send them in and I'll try to apply to them. And uh, thanks for watching and hope to see you again on another one shortly. Thank you.